Good afternoon, my dear students. I am Padmini. I welcome you all to this session. Is the exercises A, B, C already we have discussed in our previous class. So today we are going to discuss F, G, and H of your book. Okay. So the exercise F is on the board. Use the words given in the right column to complete each of the sentences below. Okay. The first one. I guess to him that he would have to wait. Here, explained and told. So, as you know, we cannot use told to. Told to we cannot use. So, in this place, what we can use? We can use explained. So, I explained. I explained to him. I explained to him that he would have to wait. So, explain is the correct answer. Okay. Then the next one. Giris days to me. Giris days to me that he might look into seeing. Giris days to me means promised to me. So, promised you can write. Giris promised to me. Promised to me that he might. Next one. It was days that there would be another meeting the following week. So always remember it was both can be used here. Both can be used. Announced or informed. Both can be used. But if we think that informed will be more appropriate because we must use in inform. I inform your father. I inform him. I inform to him. That is absolutely wrong. So I inform him. So here you should write. It was informed that. It was informed that. There would be another meeting. The following week. Okay. Then the next one. We were days that. We were days that. You would pay the bill. We were. We were told that. Okay, then the next one. He tells me that it was time to go. He tells me that. He reminded me. He reminded me that it was time to go. Because mentioned, it will always it will take two. He mentioned two. So Giris promised to me that he might look into. Giris mentioned to me also you can write. Both are correct. Okay. Then the next one. She days to them that they should consider their decision. So the days to them. They persuaded to them. They suggested to them. Which one is correct? They days to them that they should consider their decision. They suggested to them. Okay. They suggested to them that they should consider their decision. Persuaded means when you argument, you did, you do argument with someone else. So, here suggested is the proper and correct answer. Okay. In the next one. Do you think you could look after children? David is Mary. David asked Mary. So, as it is a question my dear students. So better we should use here asked. Okay. In our previous class someone asked me and gave the message also. In place of said. You have not changed means place of said and you have not used told. So if you are using said or told that makes no difference. But the difference is that whenever you are using you will use said to and when you are using told you should not use the told to. Only told you will use. Okay. Understood? Okay, my dear students. Next question is on the board. 
My dear students, I need answers from your side in the comment section. Okay? So next one. I think, I think you should try to get more sleep. John's doctor, they say. So, is I see children suggested? Suggested two you have to use. So here two is not there. So what we must use here? Advised. So correct answer is advised. So answer is I think you should try to get more sleep. John's doctor advised him. Okay. Then the next one. You can come round and see us anytime. We dance our friends. We told our friends. Okay. And the next one. Will you take the money to the bank please? Will you take the money to the bank please? Jaya asked me. So when it is an interrogative sentences, we must prepare the asked, not told. So asked is the correct answer. Next one. Don't forget to come half an hour early on Tuesday. Mr. Wackett, there's the students. A teacher cannot request a child to come to school in time. So you must use reminded. Okay. Okay, students, the next one. Please write to me every day. The mother, they serve. So, whenever we are writing, please, means it tells about the request. So, please write to me every day. The mother, they serve. So, requested, it is given, bad. So, more appropriate is bad. So, we write here, the mother, bad her. Okay, then the next one. You should not play with fire. I dance the children. You should not play with fire. What is this? You are warning. You are giving warning to someone. So here I warn the children. What is the correct answer? So understood? Okay. Okay, my dear students. So, to, now I am going to discuss exclamatory sentences. So, how to convert these exclamatory sentences into reported speech. So, the questions are there on the board. I want my dear students that you should give the answer. Okay. The Englishman say to me, how well you speak English. So, whenever you are changing these exclamatory sentences, we must use exclaimed. If it is good means we will use it with the exclaimed with joy, exclaimed with surprise or exclaimed with the disgust. Like this we will use according to the sense of the sentence. So here the same thing we will do. What is that? The Englishman say to me how well you speak English. So here the Englishman became surprised. So what we will use here? The Englishman exclaimed exclaimed with surprise that here it is given to me. So the Englishman exclaimed with surprise that I spoke English very well. Okay. So the Englishman exclaimed with surprise that I spoke English very well. And at last fully full stop. There should not be any exclamation mark or anything. Okay. The next one. He said, oh dear, I am sorry. Here given, she said, she exclaimed. With sorrow. She exclaimed with sorrow that she 
was sorry. Okay, that she was sorry. The next, he said, what an expensive bike. So, what an expensive bike means here the person is surprised. So, what we will do? We explained with surprised. With surprise, the the bike is the bike was very expensive. So the answer is he exclaimed with surprise that the bike was very expensive. Okay, so always remember this what, oh dear, this how. These all are interjections. So whenever we are changing this type of sentences into indirect speech, we will omit all these things and we will use expressions like sorrow, surprise, like that, disgust, like this we will use. Okay, the next one, alas. I have lost all my fortune, the old man said. So the old man exclaimed, the old man exclaimed with sorrow that he had lost. had lost all his fortune. Okay, the old man exclaimed with sorrow that here I have given. I have this, you must use he had. He had lost all his fortune. Okay, then the last one. What is charming baby? That old lady said. So the old lady became surprised. So here again we will use the old lady exclaimed with surprise. The old lady exclaimed with surprise that that the baby was charming. Words. You can write very charming, you can write charming also. The baby was charming. Okay, so the old man exclaimed with surprise that the baby was charming. Okay, my dear students.
and the painting was great. Then the next one, how I had these posters, John said. John had disgust. So here we can write, John exclaimed with disgust. John exclaimed with disgust that he had read, he had read those. These will change into those, those posters. Okay. So again, John exclaimed with disgust that he had read. These will change into those, those. Posters, okay. How selfish of him, I say. How selfish of him. Here you can use disgust, you can use surprise also. So I exclaimed with surprise. Surprise that. He was too selfish or he was very selfish. Okay, you can write here, I exclaimed with surprise that he was too selfish. Okay, then the next one, how badly is he burnt, the boy said. So here, how badly is he burnt? Here the Boy became sorrow. So you can write here the boy exclaimed with sorrow that that he was burnt badly or he was badly burnt. Or you can write here sock. Exclaimed with sock, or you can write surprise. That he was badly burnt. Okay. So we'll go next one. Next one. So here, next exercise is your I. Okay. He said, where are you going? So it is a question. So what you must use here? He asked. He asked. Then the question word will come. Where? Then I was going. So answer is, he asked where I was going. Okay. The next one. When did he visit you? Say Jaika. So Jaika asked. Jaika asked. Then the question what will come when? Jaika, Jaika asked when? He. When? He. Then now it is in simple past tense. So when the simple past tense will change, it will change into past perfect tense. So what? He had visited. Jaika asked when he had visited me. Okay. Do you know Hindi? She said. Then she asked. So remember my dear class. Do. Do is do you know Hindi? It is yes no question. If it is a yes no question, then we have to use here if or whether. So she asked if, if or whether I knew Hindi. Whether I knew Hindi. Okay. See, 
asked if or whether I knew Hindi. Then the next one. She said, oh, I have cut my little finger. Then she escaped with sorrow. Sorrow that she had cut her little finger. Okay. She exclaimed with sorrow that she had cut her little finger. Okay. Then the last one. Hello. She said, where are you going? So here, she, she greeted me. She greeted me and asked, and asked, where I was going. Hello. That the reason she greeted me and asked where I was going. Okay. Okay my dear students. What a beautiful garden you have. He said. Then he exclaimed with surprise. With surprise. That. That I have. A beautiful. I have a beautiful garden. Okay. He exclaimed with surprise that I had a beautiful garden. Then back next one. Let us wait for me. Let us wait for me. I think that is let us wait for him. Sorry. Here let us wait for him. Let us wait for him. Is I said. Then. I told, I told that we should wait for him. Let us wait for him. Means I told that we should wait for him. Okay. Then the next one. Did you call at my house last night? I said. Then I asked. Then it is as it is yes no question. So what I must use here? If or whether. I asked if. If you had called. If you had called at my house. house last night the previous night so i asked if or whether you had called at my house the previous night the previous night okay then the next one good morning mina said deepa are you going to the office so good morning mina said deepa deepa Greeted. Deepa greeted Meena by saying good morning. Deepa greeted Meena by saying good morning and asked. And asked if she was going to the office.
Okay? Again, Deepa greeted Meena by saying good morning and asked if she was if she was going to the office. Okay? The next, I have passed my examination, said Ankita. Ankita told both are appropriate. You can write here Ankita said or Ankita told. Both are correct. So Ankita told that she had yes, she had passed her passed her examination. She had passed her examination. Okay? One. I have been waiting for an hour. Where have you been? Said the mother to, to the son. So, the mother asked the son asked the son son where where he had been. Where he had been? She, she had been waiting for an hour. For an hour. Listen. I have been waiting for an hour. Where have you been? Where have you been? Say the mother to the son. So here the mother asked the son where he had been. First question will come where he had been. Then you put comma. She had been waiting for an hour. Okay. Then the next one. Are you happy with your present job? She asked me. She asked me. If or whether. Whether that asked me means I whether I was happy whether I was happy with my present job. Okay, then the next one. The salesman said we have reduced the prices by half. So the salesman told that the salesman told that that the we means they that they had have been changed into had they had reduced the prices. By half. Okay. The answer is the salesman told that they had reduced the prices by half. Okay. Don't waste your time. I cannot give you the permission to take the exam. Say the teacher to Raja. So here this is an imperative sentences. In imperative sentences what we must use? The teacher Instructed Raja. Instructed Raja. Don't miss not to. Not to. Waste his time. Not to waste his time. He cannot. He could not. He could not. Give him the permission. He could not give him the permission permission to take the exam.
Okay? So the answer is the teacher. The teacher instructed Raja not to waste his time. He could not give him permission to take the exam. Okay? So my dear students, we have discussed the exercises on direct and indirect speech. I hope you have understood this. Thank you my dear class.